Jim Edwards here for the MMA Latest Daily and today guys we're going to be talking about the brewing feud between TJ Dillashaw and Dominic Cruz. Now the backdrop to this all is that TJ Dillashaw earlier this year he left Team Alpha Male and he went to Colorado to join Team Elevation. Dominic Cruz is now using this against TJ saying that he backstabbed his former teammates, that he can't be trusted and that he's fake. Last week in Vegas, I thought it'd be a good idea to ask them both their thoughts on this all, and I started with TJ Dillashaw. Here were his thoughts. I'd rather just fight, you know? I mean, I'm not into the whole talking and building up the drama and being fake. You know, I'm more uh, here to fight, you know? I mean, that's what I do. That's why I'm a martial artist. I train every day. I'm in the gym. I'm not uh, on the soap opera, you know? I'm not an actor. So uh, I'd rather just fight, but that's what he's doing. He's building it up. He's, he's building up the hype train, you know? It's going to be uh, a big fight. I then asked Dominic Cruz his thoughts on it all, and he had a slightly different take on it. Check it out. It's just my opinion that he's being a little bit fake, but uh, you know, I think that a lot of people would agree. It's kind of he's kind of saying it himself. He said that he's been beating up Faber for four years. He said that himself. I didn't say that. I just kind of alluded to it because I had to ask him. Like, I beat up your coach, man. Like, he's like, he's not my coach. I've been beating him up for four years. He said that, not me. I was like, whoa. I would never say that about my teammates. My teammates helped me become better. I want to build my teammates up. Why are you bashing the guys that helped you get to where you're at? Why are you saying that you've been beating them up all for years? And then he's blaming media. He's blaming you guys, saying you guys built it into something it's not. No, you left the camp because you think you're better than all those guys. And you had to do what you had to do for yourself. Okay, I get that. We all got to do what we got to do for ourselves. But you don't got to go around telling everybody that you've been beating up for four years, who brought you up into the sport, who taught you what it was to, to try to be a champion, who gave you a mentality, who got you tons of followers on Instagram because he's hyping your name up. To me, that's, that's a little lack of loyalty. Regardless of whether I like Faber or not or whether I think he's a turd bucket, it doesn't matter. The point is, it's lack of loyalty that he shows. Uh, and that's true. Connor said that, but that's actually true. And it only pisses off TJ because it's true. The truth only hurts when, it's, when, it, when you believe it about yourself. So, what is actually going on here? Well, I think Cruz is being very clever, and what he's doing is he's presenting a problem that TJ's never even faced before. You think back to his previous opponents, none of them have ever tried to get in his head. None of them have ever tried to play mind games. Look at Burrell, for instance. He didn't even speak the same language as him. Cruz, I think, recognises this, and before they even get in the octagon, I think he wants to get the mental advantage. Anyway, guys, what do you think of this? Do you think TJ's a guy that can't be trusted? Do you think he's fake? Stick it in the comments below. Please, if you've liked the video, please give it a like. Please subscribe to the channel. I've been Jim Edwards. I will see you later. SYF.